Um, so you want to go through all this stuff, and you don't really get to do anything related to Similera. It's still step 31, which is autogen.sh. Now, this first command here that you want to use, right there, uh, this is going to take you out to uh, Similera community version and get you the latest. And it's going to dump it into a directory called hvirtual, which is going to be in whatever directory you happen to open your console in. So we open our console here, and put that command. Boom, it starts downloading about 170 megs worth of stuff. You see it going there into hvirtual. Once it's done, you see it into hvirtual, and that's where you're going to end up doing just about all the rest of your stuff. I like to create different directories for the other binary stuff that had to be installed. We get down here through all these steps, and step 31, it is time to dot slash autogen dot sh. That's going to prepare it to configure. Um, and then we do dot slash configure. Enter. It's going to start doing stuff. Um, not going to take very long. Uh, after it does this, you're ready to do your make. Make. Enter. I mean, how easy does that get? Uh, now that you've done this, it's compiling. Go get a sandwich. Uh, go watch a movie. Uh, it's probably going to take at least 30 minutes, if not a lot longer. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Okay, let's... Yeah, Anime Babes. You're not a geek unless one of your desktop has Anime Babes on it. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, it's compiled. We are ready to go. Now, what you want to look for here is if it compiles correctly, it is going to say, go ahead and run make install. You're ready to go. Uh, if it doesn't say that, it's because you missed one of the dependencies. What you want to do is scroll up here a little bit. And if it has a no next to something, that is what you're going to want to go do our little web search on and install. So let's say you're missing uh, like libav codec dash dev development files. That's what it's going to be, libav codec dash dev. Google, do your search, then got it. Once you have everything, uh, just you know do the makeover again. And when it says run make install, you're good to go. You run make sudo. Make install. Boom. Simulera is now installing. This step isn't going to take much. After it's installed, you can just uh, type Simulera in your prompt. Boom. It comes up. How about that? You're ready to go, but wait. What's that? Don't worry about it. Everybody's going to, pretty much everybody is going to get that error message. Uh, it's a known thing. You can ignore it. If it's too annoying for you, like it was for me, uh, saying your SHMMAX is too low, that's your shared memory. Uh, you can do as it says on the screen. You'll have to run this as sudo, so sudo space command, uh, or you may have to run sudo space su, enter, and then the command with sudo in front of it. Uh, if it does annoy you, uh, you can get it to stop doing by going to this file, uh, etc, sysctl.conf, and input this command. I'll put it over there too, but, uh, you know, kernel slash shm8 shm max 0x7, and that's 6f's. So once you restart, that error is gone forever. And uh, you are ready. You've got those videos that you imported, hopefully, for the tutorials. You've got a basic idea of how this works from the source video. And um, have fun. Play around with it. Don't forget to go to your menu, uh, whether it's 
KDE or whatever, and have this in your start menu, give yourself a little desktop icon, make fun, and make it easy to access, because if you're like me, you'll be in it a lot. And um, that's really it. Let's uh, close down these windows and tell the anime babies bye-bye. Bye. Bye. And uh, that's it. You have successfully installed a program from Source. Not just any program. A great program. Uh, so take this with you. Don't be afraid to apply this to installing other things. Have fun with Similera, and our next Similera tutorial is going to be uh, about basic editing and making stuff. So until later.